Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm excited. <laughs> what am I not excited? But that's what we're here for. We're for happiness, uplifting. This is our time to have fun and unwind and play in our beautiful makeup. So today I'm going to share with you the new Byredo Mineralscapes eyeshadow palette. This is an 18 pan, beautiful color story eyeshadow palette. I'm going to share details, swatches, you know, all of the things. And of course, we're going to create multiple looks. I'm not sure how many yet, <laughs> but I'm going to let my brush guide and have some fun. So let's hydrate and begin. So the Byredo Mineral Escapes eyeshadow palette. So I actually picked this up from Fude Japan. It was my first time ordering from them. And I have to just say it really, really quick. Beautiful, awesome experience. Smooth checking out, no issues, no problem. Shipping was super fast. It was FedEx. I'm just saying, if you can't get a hold of something, check out Fude Japan. I don't gatekeep. If I find something great, good, hey, why not share it, right? <laughs> I'll list everything down below. This did become available on the Byredo website, Liberty Beauty, anywhere that I can find the palette, I'll link it for you down below. So when I first received my palette, the outer part was wrapped in plastic. Once that's removed, you do slide out your palette out of this cardboard. This is the 18 Colors Eyeshadow Palette Mineral Scapes. Now I do have two of the previous Byredo palettes. I've had a great experience with them. I still use them to this day. Such a beautiful formula. So I'm really excited to dabble on into this one and see what it's all about. So continuing on with the packaging, this is silver packaging. It's very reflective. It is quite the fingerprint magnet, but that doesn't bother me. It's something you clean off and I personally keep mine in their boxes. That's kind of sort of how I've kept them clean. <laughs> but then once you touch it, you're going to get your fingerprints all over it. For what I want to say is a full size palette, 18 shadows. It's a decent size overall. It's not too bulky and big. It's not too thick. I think it's the right nice size overall. Now these eyeshadows are made in Italy. Here is the layout of the beautiful, beautiful Mineralscapes eyeshadow palette. Look at that color story. This color story excites me and I'm really, really, really looking forward to creating multiple looks with this palette today. I want to do things that are wearable and easy, things that if you're considering the palette or if you have it, let's create wearable looks that will allow you to wear it often. And of course, with a color story like this, we can have some real fun and create some bold and dramatic looks. Yes. What I will say right off the bat is that there are not many mattes in this palette. So this is going to be one of those eyeshadow palettes that bring it. This is going to be one of those eyeshadow palettes that give you just a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of glimmer. We love that. Yes, we do. <laughs> now on the back really quick, you do have the names with the eyeshadows and the colors to correspond. So you're not going to get confused. Is it this way or is it this way? I personally like the little diagram that they've included on the back of the palette. Let's so. do some swatches and then we'll create some looks.
I am so excited <laughs> to create looks with this palette after swatching them. So pigmented, so creamy. They just glide, super soft to the touch, just mm, so good. Now, what I will say is that right away I noticed that Yes, they're all super creamy, pigmented, smooth, you know, all the things we want in an eyeshadow. Some are a little bit smoother and softer than others, and there are only two mattes in this palette, which are these two right here. Not a bad thing at all. Now, there are some shades that look similar with just subtle differences, so that's something to note as well. But yeah, I'll give my final assessment when we after we're all done creating our looks but let's get into it so I did my makeup a little bit different today I'm not wearing any foundation I'm just wearing concealer and then bronzer blush highlight that's it um I did use what I used as concealer up on the lid and we're going to use that as the primer for all of the looks and let's see so the product I'm using in particular is this one from Cali Ray. I did just pick this up during the Sephora sale so you know trying all of our new goodies um Make sure you're subscribed because I do have all that new stuff that I get to share with you in dedicated reviews and full face of testing new makeup. So I've got here a Chikahoto GSN 10. It's just a fluffy blending brush. Start off with this shade right here. This is a matte. I'm just picking that up on the brush. And as you can see, now just so that you can see, we've got a little bit of kick up. It's a very soft shade, but it's not overly soft where it's unbearable but just sharing all the little details with you so I tap off the excess and I'm going to start by just blending this directly in my crease um I think we'll start with a soft look a soft look that I would reach for the palette and say let me make a look that I can just wear to run around or if I have a little or if I just want to have a little something so I'm just going to build and blend this directly in the crease and this is a soft crawler, but let me build it up and see how far it'll build and such. All right, so that blended very nicely. Again, it's a soft shade, which for this first look is what I want. This shade right here, it's so pretty. I wanna pick that up and I'm gonna use that same brush. I'm gonna tap the excess. I'm just gonna fluff this on the lid. Shade like this is definitely gonna give me some fallout. So I did tap the excess, but I'm very lightly applying it as well. Okay. Did get a little bit of fallout. Let me dust that away. It's not too bad, all things considered. I've got a pencil brush here. This one in particular is a synthetic from uh, Wayne Goss, the number 27S. I want to go into this shade right here. And let's just apply this on the inner corner. Oh, that's intense. Wow. That's quite intense. Yes, she is. <laughs> now, this look is very soft and basic and... You could wear this every single day. But for fun, I'm gonna take my finger and see if I can intensify the shade that I fluffed on the lid with the finger. Let's see. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Very nice. I'm gonna take that same brush and go back into the first shade we blended into the crease. And I'm gonna just kind of refresh that. Blend and bring everything together nicely. Finish everything up with some mascara. So for our first look, this is a super soft, easy look you can just put together for when you want a little bit less. Because again, you look at this palette, you can tell we're going to create some nice, fun, colorful looks and stuff. But I do want to show you that we can also get, you know, softer, a little more basic <laughs> looks. So you get the most out of your palette. Everything blended and applied very beautifully with the finger, with the brush. All right, that's our first look. Let's take it there. I cannot stand not going into these really bold, fun colors. All right, now let's do the complete opposite on the other eye. I'm gonna use the Wayne Goss E1 brush and I wanna go into this blue. This blue is just so gorgeous. I'm gonna just pack that on my brush like so. I'm gonna tap 
I'm going to start by just building this on the outer eye. Look at that. It's so intense and pretty. Okay. I'm literally just patting this and look how nice it looks. So creamy and yeah, wow. That's so nice, okay. I'm just going to kind of build the shape of my eye and before we blend it, I'll just, you don't need to do a lot. <laughs> it's a couple of times and it's there. And then I'm gonna use that same brush and just lightly fluff and blend the edges. Now this shade, it's got a little bit of, you can see it, the little shimmers in it, but you can totally blend this in your crease. Mm -hmm. Ease of use with these shadows, I can already see it. Look at that, that's so pretty. Now I'm gonna just take that same brush but turn it around to the clean side. And let's go into this lighter blue, kind of like a denim shade. I'm going to tap the excess and apply that. Mmm, so pretty. Look how easy it's just going on the lid and it's intense. I'm going to just turn it around to the side that I used for the previous color. And where the two colors meet, I'm just patting so there's a nice seamless blend. Very nice. <laughs> For the inner portion, I think I want to try this shade right here. And I'm using a pencil brush. Oh. I like that this is a true gray. It's not silvery and intense, but it's like a very pretty gray. And look how nice it just works together. Like all of these colors just work together. Look at that. Let me continue to build this portion. Look how nice everything is just going on and blending on my lid. I'm trying to use as many colors as possible from the palette and combinations and, you know, you know. But, wow, look. I mean, we're talking completely different looks. One that's super soft and appropriate for whenever. Another one that's pretty and appropriate for whenever, but it's just a little bit more, you know? <laughs> The gradient is gorgeous. Ooh, this was fun. Look, ooh, this is so pretty. Here are our first two looks. One that's nice and dramatic, using three colors. They meld and blend into each other beautifully. And then on this look, nice and soft and very wearable and easy for the everyday or whatever. You know, just, I just want to be able to share multiple different looks from the palette so you're not stuck feeling like you can only do bold looks. I want to see if we can really create looks that are wearable so you get the most use out of the palette. All right, let's create some more looks. So there are some beautiful green tones in this palette that we've got to get into. So let's do that. Um, Let's go. This is an SL Miss Glam brush. I've had it for years. I'm going to go into the matte shade again. We only have got two of them and I want a little something for transition. So I'm going to just fluff this in the crease. Keep it soft just for a little something that I blended in the crease. And I like that about this shade in particular. It's a nice easy fluff in the crease kind of color. Here are the three greens from the palette. Gosh, you can totally do a look with all three, but ooh wee. These are just, look at how gorgeous. This one has a completely different undertone. This one is the most intense. And this one has bits of gold and something else. 
It's such a beautiful shift. Look at these colors. Oof. These colors are exciting. <laughs> And this green right here, which is the more intense one, that one is a bit softer to the touch, but still super, super creamy and nice. And I take this Wayne Goss E4, and I'm gonna go into that more intense green right there. One in the middle, right here. These have names, don't they? Hang on. I totally forgot about the back, hold on. Sandstone? I think is the name of that color. I'm going to apply this on the outer portion. Oh, did I tell you the brush? E E4 from Wayne Goss. It's so creamy, this shade. Look at that. I'm putting that from the center to the outer portion of my eye. Just placement right now. I'm gonna use just the shape of the brush to help shape the outer portion as well. Kind of just following my eyes contour. I'm, I don't think I'm gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna bring it out very much. I'm just gonna use it to just apply. You know what, I'm gonna use all three of these greens. You, I have to. We need to see what they all look like. Again, I'm trying to use as many colors as possible. I'm gonna go right now in with the same brush to this color right beside it. And that one is called Painting Land, I think. Yeah, Painting Land. I'm gonna pick that up. And let's put that here on the centermost portion. Look at those two colors together. <gasps> wow. <sighs> These are fun. These are fun. Now where the two colors meet, I'll just blend very softly. Tap the two colors so they blend together nicely. And then same brush, just cleaned it off. Let's go into the shade here. This one has a little bit different of an undertone and finish. The name on this one is River Mist. So let's put that on the inner portion. Oh. Hello? Oh my goodness. Look at these greens on the lid. Okay. Okay, Byredo, you've done it. You have done it. I actually like the color story. I like, I think it's a little more creative than like a typical everyday wearable type of palette. We all need makeup that inspires us and challenges us a little bit so we can be a little bit more creative and step outside of that comfort zone. <laughs> Because although the colors are a little bit different than our typical everydays, they're still wearable. Okay, I'm sorry, but I will wear this anywhere. I will wear this to chair practice with my daughter. I will wear this to honor roll acceptance award. I will wear this. So here's another look. We used all the greens on this one. Okay. I'm back in with the Chicohoda GSN 10, the fluffy one. Let's go in with this matte gray. Let's see. Ooh, look at that kick up in that one. Good amount of kick up. The mat, the two mats are really soft and they really kick up, but it's the formula. So I'm gonna just blend this. Listen, this color right here, ooh, do you see how like, wow, it's just blending so nicely. Look at that. Okay. Not mad at all. That's nice. So I'm just continuing to build and blend. Let's put a little focus on the outer eye area, going back in, building a little more on the outer eye. Look at these two shades. It's this one and this one. Look how pretty. See, if we go in with this one, we can make the look nice and dramatic or dramatic. <laughs> and then if we go in with this one, we can maybe make it soft. 
Um, let's make a soft gray look. As crazy as that sounds. A soft, wearable gray look. Listen, just because it's color doesn't mean it's not soft and wearable. Okay. <laughs> Low Tide, I believe is the name of this one. And with the E1, this is the same brush we use for the blue shades. I just cleaned it off. I'm gonna pat, wow. Look, look at the amount of product that comes up on the brush. So good. So I'm gonna just tap that excess. And I'm gonna fluff this on the lid. Again, I'm going for that soft, <laughs> wearable gray look. Because why not? It's more of like a taupey color, isn't it? That's pretty. Wow. And this just goes on the lid so nice. Look at that. Mm-hmm. I'm taking my Chica Hodo, the brush we used first. I'm just blending the edges like that. Now I want to take, this is a much smaller pencil brush than the one I was using before. It's a Wayne Goss, it's a 05. I don't think he makes these anymore, but I have them, so I use them. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go into this shade here. What is this one called? Blue Dream. I'm gonna put Blue Dream right here on the beginning portion of my lid. Look at these shadows on the lid. So smooth and creamy and beautiful. Let me put some mascara. I'm using the Shantakai mascara, by the way. Everything will be listed and linked down below in the description box. This palette has me in all types of good mood. <laughs> so here are two more looks from the Mineralscape palette. All right, I think I've got one more look in me. I have this thing in my head where I want to try to, again, I'm trying to use as many of the shades as possible. So I kind of want to play with this one right here. Look how gorgeous. Ooh! Um, I feel like we can go in a little bit of that. That would look so gorgeous together. And this gray. I'm going to start off with this shade right here. That is Pink Flame. This is a Wayne Goss E4. I'm gonna start off with that shade. Just on a beginning portion. Like that. Just a little something like that. This is pretty. We'll call it just glides on the lid. It's nice. What's nice about these shades is they're creamy and they're pigmented and I don't need to keep going back in and like building too much. I really like that. And I think you're gonna like that a lot too. <laughs> My Chica Hoda brush, I'm gonna go into the gray matte shade, blend that, outer eye, and whatever's left, bring it in the crease. And a little above the crease too. Let's do that. This shade blends really nice and it builds. Do you see how it just builds up? So I get just like a little bit more in of that intensity with the gray. I never thought I would be a person that would sit here and come and tell you, wow, look at this gray eyeshadow I'm blending in my crease. I love it so much, but <laughs> look at this, the tone, the color. This is nice. I'm just saying, okay? It's a color. It's a gray that is just like, good. <laughs> just want to show you how everything is looking. And honestly, with my other Byredo palettes, this is typical. It's not bad, it's not, it's just what the shades do and I wanna share them with you. Anywho, let's go into this beautiful shade right here. Ooh, this one is so creamy. The texture on this one matches the texture on that green one. That It's a little bit softer. Ooh, look at that. That is called Matter and Life. Okay, this one. I don't like that with the brush at all. Let's go with the finger. Because on the finger, look at that intensity on the finger. I'm not getting that with the brush. Maybe it's that particular brush. Obviously it's that particular brush because look at what I'm getting with my finger. 
Ooh-wee. That's nice. I know not everybody likes to use their fingers, but sometimes the fingers look just, just work. Okay, because the warmth melds and all that stuff too. I'm taking that same brush, going back into the shade we have prior. And now we gotta blend the two colors together so we don't have any harshness because that wouldn't be cute. Look at this. <laughs> All the weird sounds, I'm sorry, but I'm not. I'm truly excited and happy. And makeup is just one of those things that does that for me. Life could be falling apart. Give me a new palette. Oh, it's all better, sort of. <laughs> I'm gonna try the brush again for trying sake. So I'm gonna pick it up and let's see if I can, I mean, you could, but the finger is just so much quicker and easier. I mean, look, it's not bad with the brush. You'd probably just have to build it up. Let's try a different brush. Don't wanna knock the shade because everything's been going so well. There we go. Let's go in with this one. This one is kind of diffuse. Oh, that's cute. This brush, it's a little more fluffy. It's bigger, but it's a little more fluffy. It kind of diffused the turquoise -y blue shade. So it's, do I have gray eyeshadow on my mouth and no one told me? Oh, that's not okay. That's funny. I wonder how long it's been there. Give y'all something to talk about. <laughs> Anyways, look at that. That's fun. Kind of diffused it with that brush versus over here. I like this better. Hang on, let's match. Let's match. I need to, it is imperative. We've got to go into this shade here. This is such a gorgeous golden tone. Look at this. Look at that. Let's go in with the gold and I wanna see how it looks. And then we'll go from there. Oh, that's fun. This is an eye look I never thought I could wear. <laughs> look at these colors together. Over here is the eye that I use the softer, fluffy brush, and over here I use my finger and then I fluffed it out. Okay. I am gonna take a little pencil brush. I'm gonna go back into that blue and use that on the lower lash line. And then in with the matte gray on the rest. Let me finish up the look, liner, mascara, I'll be right back. All right, so here is our final look. So after creating five looks using the new Byredo Mineral Scape eyeshadow palette, this is a gorgeous, beautifully performing eyeshadow palette. There is no denying. This color story, although it is not your everyday reach for the palette kind of color story, it's not to say you can't create everyday wearable looks with it because you definitely can and I hope that I was able to share two at least with you. But I am a fan of color stories that are a little more inspiring. Color stories that will allow you to step outside of your comfort zone. Color stories that give you a high quality product but you can have a little bit of fun with. You can be bold, you can be soft, you can be every day, you can be whenever I feel like it kind of looks. <laughs> and you're definitely getting it with this. The quality is outstanding, super smooth, very pigmented, buildable. You can share them out. It all depends on the tools that you use. One of my biggest cons would have to be, I feel like there should have been at least one more matte shade that we could have used um, for the transition. I feel like these two right here, which is the pink and the gray, are great. They are really nice quality, but give me one more matte that's just a little bit darker that we can use for another transitional shade, another depth shade, another smoke out the look even more shade that's not a blue or a green or a gray. Other than that, I really don't have anything to be complaining about. <laughs> I'm just looking for something. Yeah, the palette gets dirty and fingerprints everywhere, but so what? Wipe it off. Have a good day. <laughs> have fun with your makeup. I had a lot of fun with this palette today. One thing I want to say before I forget is if you have 
any of the other Barreto palettes, and I'm going to speak on the two previous, not the first, and I regret it every day. <laughs> Look at this. Okay. This, do you see the dips and the divots? I used the heck out of this palette, but I wanted to just pull out this shade, which is the one I have on the eye, and I felt like, okay, let's see if it's similar. No. No. So stop it. <laughs> These are limited edition. They're thought out. You get one a year. Thank you so much, Byredo. <laughs> As always, thank you so much for spending your time with me today and allowing me to share this new Byredo palette with you. Please don't forget to give today's video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Stay beautiful, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye. Swatch fingers and all. <laughs>